My final interview tonight is with a woman who shares her story of becoming dependent on alcohol. Her wife is a big part of her support system. And as we've heard time and time again in so many of these stories, beating addiction relies heavily on caring people and their support. First started drinking um, probably when I was about 13 or 14. Um, and then um, through my high school years, did some experimenting with drugs. Um, but nothing that was uh, the same as alcohol to me. In the last couple of years, it's gotten progressively um, where it's not, you know, like the fun, you know, like hanging out at a grill out and having a drink. It, you know, it was uh, very isolating. Um, the COVID really was hard for me, um, so I wasn't able to work. Um, I had a lot of time on my hands. Um, my drinking got to that to the point where I, if if I picked up any drink, I would pretty much end up in the hospital. Um, so help me with that help me understand that yeah um i didn't really have an off switch so i would just drink for days on on end and you know not having a job not having that you know and nobody to hold you accountable right i mean really you know i, I have pets and, and animals and i do have a wife um but it, how did she deal with this oh it it's, must have been very hard. Yes. It, because it ruins our relationships. Uh, yeah. I mean, she's been, uh, we've been through a lot. Um, uh, one thing that we're, we're both very open and honest about it. Like, I, I never really hid my addiction from her. Um, so she was really aware of what was going on. Um, and I think the biggest thing of me, like, coming into recovery was, like, realizing that the alcohol, and that that, that was my me medicating myself. Um, and so there was a lot of other stuff that was um, brought up. And people who love us, they want to help us and they think yep. that they can be the one. And yeah, and I, I think that's been really hard for her. You know, she's, she says that, like, I just, I wish I could fix you. I wish I could help you, but you know, it's my journey. Um, and uh, our better halves do want to fix it for us. Yeah. Those who love us, um, especially if they don't deal with addiction, that's the hardest. Mm -hmm. Now with you being sober, mm -hmm. do you do you have this thankfulness toward her? Do you have this, I mean, how has it helped your relationship? Um, yes, I have, I mean, I will be forever grateful for her for supporting me, you know, and it, it isn't easy. You know, there's there are days that I struggle. I continue to struggle and, you know, I have to wake up every day and say, it's a new day, 24 hours at a time. like. People a lot of times are like, oh, you just get sober. It's you just, it's not that easy. Like I literally, I mean, when I first came into recovery is happening, it was about six months ago. Um, and I thought like, this is my first treatment. I thought, hey, I, I can do this. I just stopped drinking, right? You know, it's it's not that, it's not that easy. You know, what like, happened when, when you realized I can just stop and then you realized, oh no, it's not that easy. I think coming, coming in here and, and getting, um, Recovery is ongoing, you know, and that there are a lot of times where um, life happens, you know, you lose your parents or a pet or, you know, and, and before that would have been an excuse for me to go drink or um, so just learning how to live life on life's terms, I mean, has been really, um, really humbling.